as you join me today at the Strategy Prayer Phone. I know that God is going to go to have you and this week in the name of Jesus. The anxious of days, the glory will go ahead of you. The Bible says, fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, I am your God and I will strengthen you. I will help you and I will hold you with my righteous right hand. My sister, my brother today, as we go today, may Jehovah the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, may he be your strength in the name of Jesus. As we look into the brand new week, I know God is going to answer every petition of your heart. The Bible said, come unto me in all that late and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I say today, my sister, the rest you deserve, my brother, God is going to release upon you in the name of Jesus. As we enter this new week, I want you to release your faith because God is going to be your shield. He will be your butler, your helper, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, when you pass through waters, I will be with you. Through the rivers, the Bible said they should not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, the Bible said you should not burn you, and the flame should not consume you. Isaiah 32, verse 2. My sister, my brother, today, according to his word, as the Lord has spoken in Isaiah 43, verse 2, and this will be in your life. When you pass through your challenges, your life, the Lord will see you through. It should not overwhelm you in the name of Jesus. Today, my sister, my brother, I want you to connect. Connect with your faith and God will do over and above in your life, your family, in your business, no matter what the challenges you're facing in your career, concerning your health, whatever the challenges is that you're, that's concerning within your debt collection, concerning your bills, concerning your mortgage, concerning just the relationship in your marriage. No matter what the challenges, my brothers and sisters, concerning the job you're looking for, I want you to trust God because we're in the eighth month of the year. It's a month of the new beginning. It's a beginning of joy in your life, beginning of blessings, breakthrough in your family, over your finances, in the name of Jesus. My sister, my brother, today, as you pray, I want you to trust God and believe God will do over and above, casting all your anxieties on him because he cared for you. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancients of days, he cared for you. I know that's going to be your testament, but be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be dread of them. For it is your Lord, your God, who goes with you to sweep this brand new week that God is going ahead of you. As you make your declaration, I want you to trust the King of Glory, the ancients of days. He's going ahead of you. I want you to thank God today for the first week of Mar August. Wherever you are, I want you to join me and praise the King of Glory, the Lord of, that counts you worthy and count me worthy. We've seen the first week of this month, my sister, my brother, and I would give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteous and justice. I would sing praise to the name of the Lord, my son, Psalm 7, verse 17. Let's thank God. Let's praise his holy name. He's allowed you and me to see the surf the first week of the month of August, the beginning of the new week, and therefore, I want you to thank God today. Bless the name of the Father. Let's thank God and give Him all the glory. The Bible said, Offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Psalm 50, verse 14. My sister, my brother, wherever you are today, I want you to just speak that declaration today. As you speak that declaration today, my brothers and sisters, I just want you to come in an agreement with me. Don't type an agreement and you cannot hear my prayer. Don't take the agreement just to show you're supporting me. I want you to come in agreement and prayer with me. I want you to understand my sister, my brother today. We're going to make declarations. Jesus is Lord and Savior of our lives. He rules and he reigns. And he is Lord over our spirit, our soul, and our bodies. That's Philippians 2, 9. When no matter what comes our, across our path, we refuse to be anxious about any every situation by prayer and petition along with thanksgiving. We present our request to God. Praise you for Jesus. He lived in us and he made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. We praise you for your word. We love it and look to it for direction of how to live in life. Yes, we let the word dwell in us richly. Whatever we do, we bring before you and we commit everything to you and you establish our plans. Hallelujah. We love you, Father, with everything we have by your grace. Your love in us pour out in the lives of those around us. We thank you that you're not a quitter. What you started in us, 
you were complete in us. Fear is never able to cling to us because we know you are with us. What we face daily doesn't shake us because you're right there with us. You're our help, our strength, our victory. Hallelujah. We cannot help but triumph in what face because we are led by you. John 10, 127. Care and bear this come our way. We do not take them. We cast them to your hand and you look after them for us. Praise you that we have the mind of Christ and hold the thoughts, the feelings, and purposes of his heart. We rejoice it because whatever you call us to do, we can accomplish through Jesus, strengthens, enable, and empower us. As we seek you, everything we want is brought into our life by you. Thank you, God. Again, as we seek you, you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We are abundantly blessed because we choose to live right according to your word and avoid and stay away from wicked people. We delight in you in your ways and as a result we prosper whatever is going on around us through Jesus. We're believers and we hold fast to our confession of faith in you. We walk by faith and live by faith since it pleases you Lord. When we show up, the enemy flees because we have the authority of Jesus actively working and express in our lives. Luke 10, 19. We're useful and effective members of the body of Christ. We redeem from the curse because Jesus bore our sickness and carried our diseases in his own body. By his stripes, we completely and totally heal. Glory to you, God. You're everything to us, Lord. We take the light of you, and as we do, you place your desires for us in our hearts. Hallelujah. Success belongs to us because we're righteous in Christ Jesus. The Bible is everything to us. We spend time and day as a result. Faith is trusting you abound in our lives. Our eyes are firmly fixed on Jesus as we face what we face every day. We keep our eyes on him and he looks at the bringing the victory. Hallelujah. You have an old armor of God and you come in the enemy confirming the victory Jesus already got for us when he completely defeated the devil. We boldly and comfortably take our seats with Christ in heavenly places far above principalities, powers, might, and dominion in every name that are not only in this world but also which is to come we are residents of your kingdom and are so deeply grateful god your love abound in our lives because the holy spirit has shed your love abroad in our hearts we love others effectively because your love is at work in our hearts that's roman 5 5 hallelujah far greater is he is in us than he is in the world that's first john 1 4 4 and we're delivered from this present evil world. That's Galatians 1, 4. Hallelujah. The law of spirit and life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. The confidence that people see in us is a knowing that we have a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind as you have given us. That's 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 1, 7. Hallelujah. No matter what the world throws on, we, come off, we overcome it through Jesus what a deal you are of all while affectionately at work within us both the will and to work for your good pleasure that's philippians 2 13. hallelujah we thank you god we bless you jesus we're ambassadors of here for you on earth we're ambassadors say it again we are ambassadors for you here on earth Father, we are honored to re represent you. 2 Corinthians 5.20. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, please join it out. We are recreated in Christ. We are your building, your guardian, your masterpiece. That's Ephesians 2.10. Father, you begin a good work in us. We continue until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Philippians 2.16. My brothers and sisters, I need you to forward this prayer today. Forward the prayer to at least two or two people today. I want you to thank God as we forward the prayer. And what shall we render to the Lord is all his goodness, all his benefits towards me. Psalm 116 verse 12. Someone praise God. I want you to join me. And so thank God and we praise your name. Ancient of days, we give you glory. 
Father, we bless your name. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jehovah, for what you're about to do in a new week. We thank you, God, because you allow us to cross the see very first week of the month of August. We thank you. We glorify you. We praise you. We adore your name. Someone bless God. Celebrate the name of the Father. Give God the praise. Someone thank Jehovah. Thank God to bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Psalm 103, verse 2. My sister, my brother, if I was you, I would praise God. I would praise God. I would give God the praise and all the honor and adoration. Someone celebrate the Father. Give God praise. The Bible said through the Lord mercy, we are not consumed because his compassion that fell not. They knew every morning. Feel great in your faith. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 23. Someone thank God the mercy of God in your life. The mercy of God in your family, over your children. Someone praise God for the mercy of God over your bills. The electric bill, the gas bill, the water bill, the, the vehicle loan. Someone praise God for the mortgage. Hallelujah. Thank God. The mercy of God concerning your business. The, the mercy of God sustaining within your, your e-commerce, your retail, within your education and your training, your events and your conferences. Thank God for the mercy in your career, your job, concerning your exam. It's the mercy of God in your academic work. My sister, my brother, I want you to thank God for the mercy of God in your college degree, over your relationship. I want you to thank God for the mercy of God in your life. Celebrate the Father. Give God the praise. Thank ancients of days for the mercy of God. The Bible said the faithfulness of the Father, the faithfulness of the King of glory, the ancients of days. He never fell. He never ceased. My sister, my brother, today, I want you to thank God for the faithfulness of the Father. Father, the faithfulness of God over our life. Thank God today. God has been faithful to you and me. Let's be thankful. I want someone wherever you are today. I want you to saturate this week. Cover this week in the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover every day of the week. From this Monday to the end of this week. Saturate. The begin to plead the blood. Join me today. Plead the blood. Over your week, over the days and the hour, the weeks, I plead the blood of Jesus. Someone plead the blood over your week today. Set your way the week in the blood. The Bible says for the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I will give it to you on the altar make atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that make atonement by life. My sister, my brother, plead the blood. The Bible speak Revelation 12 and 11. We overcame by the blood of the Lamb. So one day cover yourself in the blood, your children, your spouse, your business, cover the state reps, cover the senators, cover the, the city councilmen, cover the mayor, say it rich, the life in the blood, the blood of the covenant, the blood of the eternal covenant, the blood of Christ, the blood of the cross. Someone today, someone cover yourself in the blood, in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I join my faith with your faith today. May you be covered. May you be covered by the blood. May the blood of Jesus that overcome, that overcome the works of the enemy. May he cover you as we go into this week, may your week be covered in the blood of Jesus. I saturate every day in this week in the blood. My sister, you're covered. My brother, you're covered. And your children are covered. Today, you're covered by the blood. May the blood of Jesus justify you. May the blood of Jesus justify you. May he vindicate you. May you be sanctified and be cleansed by the blood. The blood. May he revive you, your soul, your spirit today as you're covered today be covered my brother in the blood of jesus in the blood hallelujah may the blood of jesus wherever you are cover your household your your town your city your borough your county speak of everything concerning you today your providence your community your finances your account your income the blood of jesus Plead the blood of Jesus over your income. I want you to saturate yourself in the blood of Jesus. Today, as you pray, I join my faith with your faith. And I declare as many today as you empower. May Jehovah empower you today. Fortify you with the power of the Holy Ghost today. Be fortified today. Be fortified as you go into the week. May your soul be covered by the power of 
today. May the power of the Holy Ghost come over you today. Be anointed. Be anointed. The Bible said how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. My sister, my brother, be filled today. Be filled afresh with the power of the Holy Ghost today. May you be empowered for your breakthrough in this week. May you be empowered. Receive that power. Hallelujah. It's the beginning of a new week. My sister, my brother, today is a new month of new beginnings. As you enter this week, every new testimony, breakthroughs that went through this month, the power to secure your breakthrough, the power to take your breakthrough. May you be received. The Lord anoint you. May the Lord empower today. Be empowered today by the power of the Holy Ghost today. May the Lord fortify you. May the Lord fortify you today. My brothers and sisters, I need you to just come in an agreement with me today. And, and I just need you to receive the gift from God. Just agree with me, my brothers and sisters. In order to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, you must be born again. If you have not been born again, watch the videos of the salvation. And just come in an agreement with me. If you have it, as a child, your heavenly father desire to give you supernatural power. You need to live the brand new life for him. All you need to do is ask and believe and receive the power of the Holy Ghost. It's sons of us, if, if a son asks bread and you, there is a father will, he would give him a stone. Hallelujah. And if he asked a fish, would he first fish give him a serpent? If he should ask an egg, would he offer him a scorpion? If he then be evil, know how to give good give goods to your children. How much more should your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 11, when you fill with that supernatural power, from the language she does not recognize from your heart to your mouth. So if I pray in the tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. First Corinthians 14, 14. As you speak these words by faith, my brothers and sisters, you release them from God, power within, and build yourself up in the spirit. You can do it whenever and wherever you like. My brothers and sisters, anyone who speaks in a tongue, edify them. First Corinthians 14, 4. It doesn't really matter if you feel anything or not. Hallelujah. Receive the Spirit. If you believe in your heart, you receive then God's promise. Then he, God says it and it's settled with. Therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe you receive it and you, you have it. Mark eleven twenty four. God always honors his word, so believe it and trust him. Now, pray out loud after me. Father, I recognize my needs for your power to live this new life. Hallelujah. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit right now with power by faith. I receive it right now, my brothers and sisters, based on God's promise. Thank you for baptizing me. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our life. Hallelujah. Come in an agreement with me today, my brothers and sisters. There's coming in an agreement as you come in an agreement. It's very important you come in that agreement with me today. My brothers and sisters, receive that power, that Holy Spirit power, that power. Hallelujah, that Holy Spirit power, that power, that Holy Spirit power, that Holy Spirit power. As you come in an agreement with me today, my brothers and sisters, I pray for you today. My brothers and sisters, that you see that power, that Holy Spirit power, that power, hallelujah, that power, that power may fortify your family in the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone to be empowered today, be empowered today, be filled with the Holy Ghost and power. The Holy Ghost and power. May your children be filled with the Holy Ghost and power. As you go this week, it's a month of new beginning. It's a week of new beginnings. My sister, my brother, the power to take your glory, the power to take your blessings. Receive and be fortified. May the Lord fortify you with the power of the Holy Ghost and the word of fire to surround you and your family today. May the Lord turn you for flame of fire today. Be empowered today by the Holy Ghost and power. Receive that power today. Receive that power today. As you receive that power today, my brothers and sisters, receive that power. My sister, my brother, receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Be empowered today. As you're empowered today by the Holy Ghost today, the Bible says you should call upon me and I will answer him. And I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and I will honor him. 
today my sister my brother as we cry to god the lord is going to honor you and answer you deliver you today may you be delivered throughout this week may the limits of god rest upon you and your family may jehovah honor you honor you your, your family today honor your marriage your children and the lord will answer as you will cry and the lord will say here i am to make jehovah hear your cry today the king of king answer you today may the lord answer you today the petition of your heart today i join my faith with your faith and i say today as you go into the week my sister my brother as you go into this new week i pray i prophesy and let the clean this week may you enter a new season a supernatural abundance and provision this week my sister my brother my sister enter it's a season a supernatural abundance and provision as you go it's a new week for you a new a new place for you in your life your career your business your financing your academic work today i pray in your relationship may you enter a season a supernatural abundance and provision and i prophesize and declare today as you go into this brand new week today my brothers and sisters enter a season of supernatural abundance over your advertising over your marketing of your business everything should work in your favor my brother and sister i prophesize and i join my faith with your faith all the element powers of jehovah work in your favor work in your favor walk in your favor may the May he work in your favor today. Jehovah work in your favor today. Anywhere you go, the wind walk in your favor. The wind of favor blow your way this week. I prophesy and I declare the wind of favor. Hallelujah. The wind of favor blow your way. This as you go, my sister. As you go, my brother. I prophesy through this month of August. The wind of favor, favor over your finances. The wind of favor over your bills. The wind of favor over your business. I decree the wind of favor. The wind of favor in the month of August. Within your bank accounts. Within your bills. Within your car. Your finances. The wind of favor today. My brothers and sisters. The wind of favor cover every area of your life. Your household. Your children. Your grandchildren. Wind of favor within your marketing and your advertising. The wind of favor within your nonprofit organization. The wind of favor within that financial provision in every area. With your manager, that job and interview you're going for today. The wind of favor. Hallelujah. Job you're applying for them this week. This week. I prophesy and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of favor rest upon you. May it blow your way, the wind of favor. Hallelujah, the wind of favor blowing your favor as you publish your books, your e-books. The wind of favor, the wind of favor rest upon you. I prophesy and I declare by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no counsel of the wicked should stand against you. And this week, my brothers and sisters, I decree and declare as I join my faith with your faith. And I said, no counsel of the wicked should stand against you anywhere you go. No counsel of the wicked should stand against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Against your children, no counsel of the wicked stand against you. But I said, my prophesy. And I decree, no counsel of the wicked should stand against you and your family. In the name of Jesus, today, God should do exceedingly and abundantly above all your ask and desire of think today. My sister, my brother, today, as you go this week, God should do exceedingly abundantly for you. In your life, your career, your business, your e-commerce, the Lord would do exceedingly abundantly for the education, for your training, for the conferences, the events. The Lord should do exceedingly and above all you ask and desire. In the name of Jesus, as you go this week, so shall it be. You should be crowned. You should be crowned today. The crown of glory. The Lord will place upon you. There should be in the name of Jesus. My sister, my brother, as you go in this new week, I prophesy and I decree by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that's the glory of God. The glory of God should be 
in this week, my sister, my brother, as you go this week, I prophesy you should be a crown of glory in the hand of God. Your children should be a crown of glory in the hand of God. Your business, a crown of glory in the hand of God. As your exams about to write, it should be a crown of glory in the hand of God. My sister, my brother, as you go in your workplace, you should be a crown of glory in your workplace. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God, the glory of God will stand you out and you outstanding in the name of Jesus concerning your exam successes coming your way. Hallelujah. I prophesy and I decree that will be your story in the name of Jesus. My sister, before your maker, you should be royal. Hallelujah. The king of glory today. May your light shine. Today, my brothers and sisters, your light may shine today. Your light may shine today. Hallelujah. My sister, my brother, I need you to come in an agreement with me today. As you come in an agreement, I need you to type the amen. I need you to type the hallelujah. As you come in an agreement with me, my sister, my brother, Jesus is Lord and Savior in our lives today. He's the Lord of all. He is Lord of our spirit, our soul, and our bodies today. As you come in agreement with me, my brothers and sisters, we do not walk with the wicked. No, we delight in God's glory. It's everything to us. We meditate on the Bible all day long. As a result, my, you like a tree planted with streams of water, which is abundantly fruitful. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I just need you to come in an agreement with me. And as I pray, together we're seeking our Heavenly Father. My brothers and sisters, for the prayer today, for the prayer today, and play the video over and over again. My brothers and sisters, allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Heavenly Father, as we come in that agreement, that wonderful, majestic body name of Jesus, two or more gather, you're in the midst of us, God. And anything we grew upon and touching God, you know you're going to do. The Bible says this. Any unforgiveness, it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, release anger, bad feelings, resentment, any of the bitterness, strife, jealousy, envy. We lay it at your feet and release and forgive those who wrong us. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, no distance in the spirit. We thank you for those desiring a prayer for your blessings. Hallelujah. We praise you, mighty God, that you are each person's source and provider in the month of August. Everything is good come from you, God. You're giving each person all things to enjoy richly. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Thank you before we even ask. You know what each person needs. You said that the things each person desire in accordance with your will will be given to them if they ask you, God. Well, we trust you, God, and together in agreement, we ask you to abundantly bless each person in the month of August in your word. In Jesus' mighty name, ministry, spirit, go forth and bring about supply to each person in the strategy prayer room. Go out and bring out that supply to each person listening and come in an agreement. With the person going to thank those that bring it to recognize you, Father, as their source today. Praise your name, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we bind anxiety, worries, and fear, and doubt. And we cast it aside because you are each person provider. And most of all, you are each person you faithful, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we decree and declare that favor with others. Over each person that's listening in strategy prayer. Where they go, rich favor, divine favor, provision, follow them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, help each person stay faithful and thankful. Remind them that you're the one that's bringing those blessings in their business, bringing the blessings within their e-commerce, bringing the blessings as they publish their books, bringing the blessings in their education and their training events and conferences, bringing those blessings in the marketing and advertising. Hallelujah. Father, for all the people that you're using to bless each person may they never forget that all good things come from you father you are good and excellent father hallelujah we ask you that as you the bless those who bless each person in jesus name that lord we believe these things we're praying and as as each person increase we ask you to help them handle their money their their, their finances their blessings handle their their products Handling their um, their credit, handling their debt collection, and handling each invoice, handling each each area as they um, grow in the increase with you, Holy Spirit, guide and manage the increase properly. Whether it be spiritual, Father, blessings are all compensate. 
to the Father as it continues to increase in their life. Help them to properly manage it in Jesus' mighty name. Your word says that you take pleasure in the prosperity of your servant. We believe it and therefore we speak it. We declare it in abundance over each person in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says that you give it each person ability to attain wealth. So Father, you establish a covenant here on earth. So we ask you for ready ideas, inventions, and opportunities to earn income for each person in Jesus' mighty name. Praise your name, God. We ask in Jesus' name for divine connection. Please bring the right people and opportunities to come across the path in Jesus' mighty name. Bring the prayer to each person remembered so they always recognize the connections is coming from you, O oh God, the source of all source. Hallelujah. Give each person wisdom and discernment and to keep them on the path you have for them within the path that you have for them in their business, the path that you have for them in their life, the path that you have for them as they pay their bills, the path that you have for them as they start those events, the path that you have for them as they continue to move forward in those conferences. Please, hallelujah, let, not let them let us stray. In Jesus' mighty name, give each person strength and help them to do right and live right, even as they receive blessings at the blessings at the blessings in abundance from you. Thank you for meeting their every single need so they can prosper and enjoy life to the fullest, in completeness, in totality, and reject the spirit of meat and mediocrity. We, each person is blessed. They have the blessing of the Lord in abundance flowing and actively flowing through their life and they rebuke the spirit of mediocrity. We, and we believe and receive everything that we pray and we give the glory in advance because the prayer is answered in the wonderful and precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. And I pray that um, those that have partnered with the Strategy Prayer Room, I pray that God richly favor you. And because of your prayers and your gifts, his name and his word are going forth in these desperate times as the cities continue to reopen the, the churches there's certain churches that haven't reopened through this pandemic i pray that god richly favor you in those desperate times also you can make a difference my brothers and sisters you can make a difference to that individual that has not understand that god loves them god loves those individuals you might be in a house stuck with family members and some of them are not are unbelievers. And if you're stuck in a house with family members and they do not trust Jesus, this is your opportunity to share this prayer today. As you share the prayer today, there's someone that's going to watch this video. And if you came across this video, it didn't happen by accident. Trust Jesus. Jesus is the one. But to all who has did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. That's John 1 12. If you have your pen, your pad, your journal, write the scriptures down, meditate on these scriptures over and over again. It's very important that you meditate on the scriptures. And here is how you can become a child of God. You need to admit your sins. It's very important you admit your sins. Speak to God about being a sinner. Speak to God about the things that you are going through in your relationship in the household. Also, believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again from the grave. Pray a prayer like this. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner. I want to turn from my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he died for my sins and that you raised him to life. Hallelujah. I want him to come into my heart and take control of my life. I want to trust Jesus as my Lord, my master, and my savior, and follow him as my Lord from this day forward in Jesus' mighty name. Please let us know how you did it. The email address is the strategy prayer room at gmail.com or you can message us, us on Facebook 
or YouTube, or you can leave something in the comment description, comment box, and I pray God will richly favor you and provision you open doors. So long.